Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. So I'm doing my um, intro and outro vlog style because my camera it was dying and then the um, SIM card ran out of space. So I needed to use my other camera, which is more so my vlog camera and I just didn't feel like sitting it on the tripod. Um, but anyway, I really, really love how this look came out and I'm really excited because I use products that are not necessarily used for certain things. So for instance, my eyeshadow is really this bronzer and this highlighter that's it and then I used you know eyeliner for the liner but um, I really love that so um, yeah if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching so um, the first thing as um, first of all I put the concealer on my lid but I feel like I just need a little bit more um, so I'm just gonna tap a little oh that was a lot so let me just <laughs> Bring some over on the other side. This this um, concealer is definitely a little bit goes a long way. It's definitely a strong concealer, so you don't need to use too much of it. And um, I'm just going to blend this out. Oh, you know what? There is one other thing that I want to do before I forget is I want to put on this lip mask for you guys. So this, I actually had tried it on earlier, but I ended up wiping it off. But this is the Heartbreaker, oh, can you guys see it? This is the Heartbreaker, um, there we go, it looks better. The Heartbreaker um, lip mask is a plumping lip mask by, yeah, Jelly Plumping Lip Mask by Truly Organic. This brand is really cute. I love all of their like products and the themes of their products are really, really cute. So um, this is literally, it's like a jelly, um, and you just put it on your lips. So yeah, I just wanted to try it. I never really tried it before. I was playing around with it earlier today, um, but I wanted to show you guys like the application and give you like a review on it. But um, it's very minty. And it definitely tingles on your lips. Like it, you, you will feel that tingling, that plumping feel. The first thing I'm going to do is do my crease. And I am usually always use like some sort of neutral kind of brown shade to do that. So I'm going in with the bronzer and I'm using this um, fluffy contour brush. It's the yeah, fluffy eye blender brush um, by e.l.f. And I'm just going to take some of that, tap any extra. And I'm just going to... Simply put it in the crease. When you contour and bronze, you want to, because a lot of time when you put on foundation, it takes away some of the shapes and depth and curves um, of your face and you want to bring that back in. So bronzers are made in shades that look like natural curves and contours of your face and that's what we want to do with this this crease we want to kind of give um, just a natural soft depth to the eye if that makes sense What I'm gonna do now is kind of bring it down into my nose, um, like that part of my nose that kind of connects from the brow bone down. We're gonna do a little bit of my um, bronzer there. Again, this is something I'm gonna reinforce a little bit more later, but I just kind of wanna get it started. Use the little extra product that's on the brush and just kind of blend it. And that's gonna help contour my nose and kind of bring the depth back in of my, you know, my nose shape. Ooh, my lips are tingling. So we blended all that out. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna take, um, and clean off this little brush. So I have this little um, kind of flat brush 
that I really like to use. This is a Real Technique brush. Does it say what they call it? This is the Detailer brush. And that's exactly what I like to use it for, for details. So I like to use it in the inner corner of my eye because let's go back to the picture of uh, Rihanna. But this is something that I do with my eye makeup anyway. But I love that it it's like that in her makeup as well. But um, if you look, oops, let me zoom in for you guys. I don't know if you can see very well, but in her inner corner, that same golden color that's on her lid right there below the crease is in the inner corner. There we go. It's easier to um, get in those corners really nicely and make it nice and rounded like the shape of your eye with a detailer brush like this. So what I'm going to use is the highlighter now because in her eye, it's a yellowish golden to it but um it's not super bright it's not like a dark gold like uh, like her trophy wife highlighter is or like this shade in this um, St. Sinners palette you see how golden yellow that is that's not you can definitely use this and it'll look beautiful um any color really will look nicely um but I'm trying to, you know, make it look like a picture and it's a very soft gold that she's using. So I'm going to kind of mix these two together because I feel like this is a little bit too bright, but this is, you know, not, it's not enough on its own. I want to mix the two. So I'm going to just tap back and forth into the pan and um, tap any extra and I'm going to just get First, I'm gonna actually apply it right here in the center. So it's got a little that piece of lightness right there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center. I'm gonna drag it out. The Dewy Mist Spray by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this. I'm just gonna, oh, that was a weird spray. There we go. I love how this sprays. So um, I just sprayed a little bit and now I'm gonna go back in to my highlighter. Yeah, I can already tell that this is probably gonna make it look a lot bolder. And um, I'm going to, now I forgot this has a mirror in it so I can use this too. And oh, if you can see that, it definitely looks a lot brighter. Now what I like to do just to even make it pop more is I'll take my finger and pick it up with my finger and then just dab it on top. All right. Now I'm going to go back in with the crease brush and I'm going to just, I didn't pick up any more product, I'm just going in with the crease brush and going above my crease just to kind of soften that out. And now I will pick up a little bit more product and um, just deepen it up a little bit. All right, so what's really gonna set this look off is that wing that she did. So what I wanna show you guys is for anyone who is starting off in makeup, show you a quick little tip. All right, so or you just haven't mastered doing your, your wing liner yet, like you can't get it straight, use these. Use tape or use um, these uh, line define eye tapes that I got from e.l.f. I can't remember, but I definitely didn't spend no more than like two or three dollars on this. I was gonna put this on my eye at the angle that I want my liner to be at. So I'm gonna use the pencil side of the Tartiste liner pencil and you don't, it doesn't have to be this. You can use any black eyeliner pencil. I'm just going to go in and kind of let the tape do its magic, but I'm gonna kind of start the liner. That's how I kind of set the tone for how I want this wing to look. Okay, so I didn't 
um, show on camera, but I just wanted to let you guys know right now I'm going in with a gel liner by Tarte. It's their Tarte Tease Liner and it comes in like a little squeezy tube. And I pretty much just squeeze a little bit onto the brush and now I'm kind of creating more of the shape that I want for the liner and going over that pencil that I just showed you guys. So now what I'm going to do is use the marker side um, for my um, eyeliner. So I'm just going to use this to kind of clean everything up. And then also to clean anything up, like let's say you mess up a little bit and you need to clean up the gold part, go back in with your detailer, grab some of your gold, tap any extra, and then just kind of go in and go around it and kind of clean it up, if that makes sense. And bring it out more, make it more bold. But now I'm gonna take the tape off and reveal to you that it didn't protect anything. <laughs> wow, that has never happened before. Usually, usually I never have that problem. Do you guys see what just happened? The tape. If I used regular tape, that wouldn't have happened. This is like a, a more gentle tape. But, oh, also I was, my eye was tearing up a little bit, so maybe that's why. But here's a simple fix. And I'm glad that that happened because sh shit like this happens to me all the time. And I'm just like, why? Especially when I'm filming, right? Like, why? Why when I'm trying to show you guys a hack is it messing up? But, um, no, basically, normally that doesn't happen if you have the tape on properly. That could have been my fault. But what I do is I just literally take the w a wipe and I put my finger in where the point of my finger and my nail tip can really, you know, be the guideline. And I just go like this. Also, what also helps is um, when you conceal under your eye, that'll clean up anything too. I'm going in with this brown again, the bronzer, and I'm just going to get it under here. Okay, moment of truth to see if this uh, tape was working <laughs> or if it was just me. There we go. See, there's no like... Um, this thing ain't even focused. Yeah, it's a little better, but now you can see I have a clean edge. I didn't have to wipe or do anything. It was it was fine. I think it was just me the first time. I, I don't think I put the tape on well enough. Um, so just be careful with that. So I'm just gonna apply my mascara. Use the same steps to create a smaller wing a longer or shorter whatever it is that you're trying to do it doesn't have to be as big and bold as this one but I do like this um, bold wing now we can get to the kind of easier steps which is the face so I'll be right back because I just want to really quickly um, take off this uh, glitter off my lips okay so I am back um, and it pretty easy to rinse off I just rinse it off with water it gets kind of gooey again when you wet it because it was like a jelly and now it dried but then when you wet it it's gooey again so anyway um, I rinsed it off and I just use a towel to kind of dry off any like wetness or extra glitter um, and now we're back so I just want to kind of prime a little bit along my jawline some more I don't know if I can't remember if I put some on earlier but I'm just going to put a little bit and just kind of apply a little bit more. The foundation that I've been using recently is the Juvia's Place Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It is my perfect skin tone match, which is um, Tangier. 
Tanger, Tanger, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's, um, the, the number is 520, so 520. That's the shade that I use. Um, I knew it was my shade because I was testing out different shades, and then when I used this one, I was like telling my friend, I was like, can you see um, where I apply the foundation? And she's like, what foundation? Like, where did you apply it? Like, what are you talking about? And she couldn't tell where I had put it, so I was like, okay, that's perfect. That means this is a good shade for me. And I really like it in combo with this blur stick because it just helps kind of give me a, a smoothness. Um, so I'm going to use this. I squeeze a little onto the back of my hand, like literally that much. This stuff is very, 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 very pigmented and very, um, just very full coverage. How about that? It's very full coverage. So I don't really um, like to use a lot of it. Now I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to now use the sponge to kind of um, blend everything out and make sure that it's like a nice smooth even layer. But the, um, the flat brush actually did a pretty good job of that already. But I'm just like kind of reinforcing it now at this point. And now I'm going to use my concealer, I'm using the Tarte concealer in medium and I'm just going to use a little bit actually. Really quick because my lips are dry, I'm going to put on some of this Kopari lip gloss. So that looks good. I just want to make sure that I set under there. So I need to get my setting powder. So the one that I use is by Revolution, the same brand that makes the um, bronzer that I've been using, same brand. This is their banana powder. And I'm gonna use this kind of really tight dome type of brush. And um, you can also use a sponge, but well, I'm gonna Tuck this in here. And then what I do is I'll take a big fluffy brush like this and um, whatever's extra that I didn't use, because I, I dump it into the cap <laughs> um, and then I dip this into the cap. But yeah, whatever I didn't use, I just kind of dip this in here and I use that to apply to my face to set the foundation so that it doesn't slide around and move around. You wanna have something to kind of set it in place. And this, this is banana powder, but it's translucent. So um, it's not gonna change the color of my face or anything like that. I have beauty marks, so like these like three little moles here, but when I put foundation on, obviously they kind of get grayed out and I hate that. So what I do is I use my eyebrow pencil, which is like a medium brownish tone, kind of the color of my beauty marks, and I just go over it and I just kind of twist it like that, a swirl, and it just brings the color back out into my beauty marks. So I'm not adding beauty marks you know people tend to like this this one on my chin was never this prominent that's new that one is like here to like party i've never seen that one before i'm getting more of them the older i get um checking everything out and then I actually have oops I messed up the lighting I actually have a lot of freckles on my nose so I try to like just kind of go do 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 right over my freckles at least the real prominent ones it's okay if I don't bring them all out but I just kind of dab on them and um 
bring them back up because I actually like my, my freckles out on my nose and stuff. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is bronze. So I use this brush by e.l.f. This is their highlighter brush, but I actually have, is this, is this, oh, this one. So if you can see, they look very similar, right? This is a highlighter brush and this is their blush brush. I'm actually going to use the blush brush. Um, I thought this was the that the other one was, but it, they actually look a lot alike. This one's a little bigger though. Um, but I'm going to use the blush brush with the bronzer and dabbing it in here, being pretty generous. And right in the hollow of my cheek, I'm just going to go in a circular motion. Okay, I didn't show this on camera, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I do also sweep this along my jawline um, and, you know, across my forehead just to kind of warm everything up and just make everything even and smooth and blend together. Now for glitter instead of using highlighter I want to use this so this is the intense this I'm obsessed with this this is the intense bronze glow body glitter by Milani but this stuff is amazing I love it absolutely love it so uh, I'm just gonna show you I'm just gonna pump oh that was a lot so I'm pumping a little bit on the back of my hand and I take a big brush I have this um, mini multitask brush this is like one of my travel brushes um, but look how big and fluffy it is it's just short but it has the same big size head as a normal brush would um, this is by uh, real techniques and I just use this to swirl it look at this and you can use your hand too I just like try to use the brush to help blend it out even more what is this boy doing? Get down! My cat is doing way too much. Okay, so anyway, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Let me try it again while you're zoomed in like that. So I'm going to put a little bit. Stuck across my keyboard and then. Can you see this? It is my favorite body shimmer so far that I have tried um, this year. It's just the right amount of shimmer. It's like really shimmery. I like I like for the glitter to be seen a mile away. So um, anyway, I'm gonna. It says that you can use it for your face and body. So I'm gonna use it on my face. So let's hope that it looks good um, because it does have like a oiliness to it. Like it's like a body oil. So I don't want to mess up my makeup so let's um I'm just gonna like put a little bit on where I would put my highlighter and I'm gonna use my finger to kind of like spread it out oh I love that actually can you guys see that so I just wanted to use a little bit because I, I, I actually like I've been doing that more recently. I've been using, instead of a highlighter, I've been using glitter just to, to be my highlight on my face because it just pops more. It just looks a lot more fun in my opinion. But I will use highlighter on my nose and my cupid's bow a little bit. So I'm going to use this middle one. I just use my finger and I just do boop, boop, right in the center of my nose and do a little on the bridge and then I just put it out so, so I want to if I have some okay so I want to do my lips really quick and I want to put on a little bit of blush and then we are done all right so blush I'm using this elf blush that I've had for years it's in the shade mellow mauve and I really like this because it's like a soft purplish kind of um blush color but it's got like a bluish purplish um glitter in it it's like it has an iridescent sort of shimmer if that makes sense um i don't know if you can tell by looking at it but it has like an iridescent sort of shimmer to it i'm gonna use that just to like kiss onto my 
cheeks a little bit because Rihanna looked um, like she had left some blush on in her thing. So I'm literally just popping it right there, right there at the apple of my cheek, just right in that one section because um, I already have bronzer on so I don't need to put too much. But um, okay, and the glitter is shining through, yeah. Perf, and we'll do a little bit on the top of my nose. Kind of like that, like kind of like sunburnt or like kind of like you're blushing, you know, where you like kind of blush on your nose and cheeks. That is cute to me. All right, so now for the lips. I have two products I'm gonna use for my lips. One is this. This is the uh, lingerie push-up uh, lip pencil by uh, NYX. It's like a lipstick, but um, so what you can see it's kind of chubby. But I like to use it as like a lip liner. So I'm just going to go on my lip just like I would with lip liner, except it's covering more of my lip than just... Um, than just the um, the outline. And now I have this random lip gloss. I would use a different lip gloss, but I've just been liking using this one right now. It's a very pale pink color. It's in the shade Drenched. I think that's the color, Drenched. Um, but it's by Lottie London. I found this in Target randomly, and it was labeled as vegan. Um, I feel like it had like a wrapper on it that said it was vegan, and I peeled it off, and now it doesn't say it on here. But I know for a fact it was. So um, now I'm just going to use this. So what's cool about this is that this is actually a brush, but it has a squeezy end. So what I actually do is I can actually squeeze the gloss out of the tip here. I'm not trying to squeeze too much out. Okay, you see how I just squeeze it out of the tip? And then you can literally just like use the brush to scoop out the amount that you want. I like that. Like that's interesting. I've never seen something like that. And then you just use the dough applicator to apply. The last thing I do is now setting spray. So I actually have two setting sprays. It's not right here in front of me, but I'll show you guys it in another like skincare video. But basically I have a, 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 a setting spray by Ulta. It's the Ulta brand setting spray. And they actually, um, it has SPF in it. Um, it has SPS 50. So it's like a rose water thing. It's really amazing. I really, really like it because I can set my makeup and or if I need to reapply um, sunscreen and I have makeup on, I can just spritz my face and protect my skin without messing up my makeup. So I think that that is just literally ingenious and so, and it's cruelty free and vegan and that was one of the things that I just could not find um, was like a cruelty free and vegan um, setting spray or whatever. So anyway, um, that had sunscreen in it um, was my point. But yeah, so hold on, I'm like kind of trying to clean up the desk in front of me while I tell you guys about that. Okay, I literally drenched myself in it. Ah! No. All right, love, so that's it for now. Um, this is the final look. I actually need to head out like right now so I can get to this um, event that I'm going to. That I, that's, what, that's what I was getting ready for. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you guys are inspired to try out different makeup looks using products that might not necessarily uh, be used for what you're using it for, but it doesn't mean that you can't. It doesn't mean that you need 
a lot of different products to create really really nice looks and I want to do more tutorials like this and go more in depth with it you know what I mean like show you more of me using maybe one product for multiple things um, or whatever maybe we'll make like a challenge out of it I think I've seen like challenges like that before and I definitely want to try some challenges um, because I've never done that before on here. So um, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little Rihanna inspired tutorial. Um, I really enjoyed it. This is kind of like my go-to. I went a little bit bolder with the eye uh, liner. Like I normally don't do such bold black eyeliner like this, but I don't hate it. I actually really like it. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go to this event. Um, I need to head out so that I'm not late, but I hope you guys enjoy and you know, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And if you have any questions, or requests I'm down for those too just leave them down below in the comments and um, yeah that's that's it for now love you thanks for watching Mwah.